hello guys in this video i'll be showing you guys best way to shampoo and then condition your hair if you want to avoid dandruff stay tuned and then watch this video the shampoo and the conditioner i will be using is called aloe vera anti-dandruff very nice shampoo and i will be using the shampoo and also the conditioner <laughs> Can see she's natural and her hair is 4c she had cornrows for almost three months she took down the cornrows and then what i will do now is first of all shampoo her scalp if you are using this shampoo or using this conditioner it will be very hard for you to get dandruff and then what i will do i will first of all apply the shampoo on her scalp you know when you are washing your hair where you should focus on mostly is your scalp what you are producing on your scalp is what is showing on your hair i would advise you to focus mostly on your scalp make sure you section your hair and then apply the shampoo on your scalp and i will go ahead section her hair and then i will apply the shampoo on her scalp when applying the shampoo on her scalp i will make sure i also massage gently you know massaging your hair is very very good it stimulates blood it will make blood to flow on your scalp in a nicer way and i will advise you to try and then massage along while applying the shampoo on your scalp i will apply the shampoo on her scalp create a space and then i will apply the shampoo on the ends of her hair i will apply the shampoo After applying the shampoo and i will use a shower cap to cover the hair for 10 minutes and after then she washed her hair what i will do now is to apply the conditioner the conditioner is also called aloe vera anti-dandruff softening conditioner and i will apply the conditioner on her hair when applying the conditioner, you know conditioner is very, very important. You need to apply conditioner after shampooing your hair. I know a lot of people will ask, where do you get the shampoo and the conditioner? You can find aloe vera and the dandruff conditioner and shampoo online. If I also find the link, I will try and put it in the description box. Make sure I apply the conditioner nicely i will apply it on her scalp the ends of her hair and then when applying the conditioner we try to also finger comb because you know the conditioner softy hair And it's good to massage and then i will massage you can see the way i massage i would advise you not to scratch your scalp 
if you want to avoid breakage on your hair stop scratching scalp We'll allow the conditioner to stay for 30 minutes and then if you are a person and you just conditioned your hair you have nothing to do it you can stay for one hour and then after 30 minutes she went ahead and rinsed off the conditioner as you can see the hair is looking softer than before and then the hair is well clean and then the scalp neat looking very nice and what i will do now is to spray in heat protectant we spray in heat protectant on her hair like this what i will do is just to use the tangoing brush to brush her hair i have a video of this on my youtube channel like how i usually detangled my real hair using this same detangoing brush i will put the video in the description box below You want to order freedom styles magic hair growth oil i will put email for you to contact me and what i will do now is to apply freedom styles magic hair growth oil if you have not ordered this oil you are mixing we use the oil to massage her scalp like this use it to rub her scalp use it to rub the ends of her hair like this and then i don't want you to forget that i have three youtube channels freedom styles this very one freedom beauty and the freedom life i will link the three youtube channels in the description box below don't forget i will also link the video in the description box how i normally use the tangoing brush to detangle my natural hair the video will also be in the description box below don't forget to follow me in all my social media on my snapchat on my agnes 30 why on my instagram freedom styles too if you want to see more of this kind of great videos don't forget to give a huge thumbs up to this video if you enjoyed this video like as i enjoyed few minutes give a huge thumbs up and if you have video ideas that you want me to film on this my youtube channel don't forget to write them in the description box Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.